Foodie's first video back in the kitchen was one where she made some roast chicken. She paired it with some broccoli, potatoes, and a whole bunch of homemade gravy. In this video, I'll go back to my roots and how I started this channel and recreate her recipe. I ran a poll when I was out of town, and 69% of you wanted to see how I would do it too. So that'll be later in the video. You know what? I want the chicken to release as much juice as possible, so I'm going to cook it kind of low and slow. So we're going to do uh, bake 350? Yeah. 350. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on the bottom. I use this pan for almost everything. I have like maybe two or three pans, but whatever. Okay, so. We're just gonna run that around. I'm gonna put it in the pan, mix it around with olive oil. I know this looks gross, but I'm gonna wash my hands. And honestly, I'm gonna be making a gravy with the drippings, so I'm not going to add any spice really to it. Um, just a bit of salt, pepper, and maybe a bit of paprika. My paprika is almost finished, so I have to renew it. <laughs> and I'm going to take some of the olive oil and just kind of rub it on the bird. Okay. a little inside. Over okay, here. So once the oven's preheated, I'm gonna stick it in the oven and then I'm gonna baste it every so often, maybe every 20 minutes. We'll see. Um, I'll let you know exactly how long I let it cook for. I'll probably raise the heat on it near the end of cooking so that the skin if it's not brown it will get browned um but yeah chicken to maximize the juice i'm going to cover it so we might only need one potato <laughs> Cut off the bad parts here. Now, so I have a liner here in my air fryer. What I'm going to season them with is some Evu, of course. A little lot, I know. Salt. pepper and I'm going to try a little bit of steak sauce I just improvise like whatever I see something you know and then I'm just going to mix them all right so that's what they look like so I'm going to pop them in the air fryer for until they're tender with a fork. Wash my hands and I'll see you back for the broccoli. Let's check the chicken. Oh, magnificent. You see them brown bits in the pan? You see them brown bits in the pan? That's going to be a gravy. Here's the potatoes. A little overdone on some of them, but mostly they look perfect. So I'm gonna wrap them, put them away for now. I'm gonna take some broccoli here, throw it. New liner. Some cheese. All right. And we're gonna cook that in the air fryer. We're gonna make a gravy now. I'm also gonna add a little bit of butter. 
Now this is my first time making gravy in this way, so you'll have to bear with me. <laughs> the flour. <laughs> I've never done this, people. It's hard to find packaged gravy where I am. Believe it or not. So. two tablespoons of flour. Yeah, I put the chicken stock in here. Now let's see if this works out. Actually it smells really nice. Let that simmer for a minute. Now that's your basic gravy recipe for anything. Um, drippings, broth, flour. All over that. Potatoes and chicken. And that's it for Foodie's version. For my version of roast chicken, I just cooked up a package of chicken thighs that I had in the freezer. I preheated the oven to 400 degrees and I seasoned my chicken with some lemon pepper, paprika, and a little bit of garlic. The way I like to cook, the fewer ingredients, the better. Keep it simple. For my vegetables, I prepared some mashed potatoes, fresh broccoli, and fresh carrots. If you'd like to see how I make mashed potatoes, I've got a recipe video way, way back in the very beginning. For the broccoli and the carrots, I just cut them up into pieces, toss them with a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. For me, the best thing about roasting your vegetables is that they can go in the oven at the same time as the chicken. I let them roast for about 18 minutes and the chicken was done in about 55. Another big difference is that I made my gravy from a packet. And this is how the two plates turned out. As you can see, they're not all that different. My plate is on the right, and I'm sorry my gravy's a little lumpy because it got cold, and Foodie's plate is on the left. She covers both her potatoes and broccoli with the cheese and covers everything with gravy. You may have noticed that the broccoli went into the air fryer frozen and she put the cheese on the entire time it was cooking. For me, that was about 10 minutes. I'll start by tasting Foodie's plate. And I'm gonna be completely honest here, the chicken was really good. The gravy was delicious too, but it had so much oil and butter in it, I don't think I'll be making it again. As for the potatoes, after cooking for 25 minutes, they were kind of browned on the edges and a little overdone. The steak sauce made them somewhat bitter, especially when combined with the olive oil, garlic, and other seasonings. She probably would have been better off just boiling them or putting them in the air fryer with just a little bit of oil and salt. The broccoli was a disaster. It, putting it in frozen and dumping all that cheese on it just made a big waterlogged mess. The cheese congealed as soon as it cooled. As for my plate, well, I already knew I'd like it. I keep my mashed potatoes pretty plain with just a little bit of milk and butter, and the vegetables were perfectly roasted. When it comes to roasting stuff in the winter time or the fall, this is how I like to do it. It may look pretty simple on the outside, but to me it's hearty and filling, one of my favorite comfort food meals. Drop me a line in the comments and let me know what you think. How do you do your roast chicken? What are some of your favorite sides? I'd love to hear from you.